alongside a championship game, we are going to show you the Carabao Cup fourth round. Which you might be wondering, why would I show you the Carabao Cup fourth round? There's a very big reason, as the team that will be coming to the race course is a Premier League team, and we have a return of a former Wonder Kid. That is right, my friends. Predo is coming back to the race course. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan and welcome to episode 45 of the FM21 Deadpool Diaries. As you can see, the Carabao Cup fourth round in his Wrexham against Newcastle. And you all know what that means. If we click into Newcastle, there's the key player. Predo is coming back to Wrexham almost a year after he left us to go to Newcastle. He's now worth £46.5 million. He's a four and a half star player. He is Newcastle's key player. So it's going to be very interesting to see how we get on against the likes of Predo and Newcastle United. So if anything, that is more than enough reason to subscribe to the Super Swan FM channel, where we bring you Football Man 2021 videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. But before we go into that Carabao Cup fourth round, I'm going to show you the championship. We are top of the league. 14 games in, unbeaten, 38 points we have so far. And if I show you the schedule, what can I say? It's been a perfect run throughout the games you last left us. We've beaten every team that's come up against us. Star players so far, Giza Jarvis has emerged as our best striker at the club. He's overtaken Jan Malakar. And if I go back to the championship, he is the top goal scorer in the championship. So Giza Jarvis playing very well up front. Our two centre-backs, Bednarek and Lawrence are the two best players on average rating. So that shows us that our defence is looking strong. And Isaac Lahadji is the fifth, well, he's third in the assists with five assists. But he's also scored seven goals of his own. So it does look like those new signers that we've brought in are making a massive impact. And we will bring a championship game to go alongside the return of Predo. The only other thing to touch upon is that we have done the, the transfer window. It has now closed. And we did do some last-minute transfers. More importantly, we loaned Morgan Gibbs White in. Then my uh, good old director of football, Deadpool, decided to bring in another winger in Quincy Garrett. So he's now in. So we've got, we were overloaded in players that could play on the left-hand side. So Quincy Garrett's on loan from Everton. Three-star current ability, three-and-a-half, four-and-a-half star potential. So he's going to be the backup inside forward or inverted winger. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to let Morgan Gibbs-White go back to Wolves. So Morgan Gibbs-White, he was with us for, what, two games? And now he's gone back to Wolves. I think they sold him. Yeah, there we go. He went to Leeds. So Morgan Gibbs-White, he was a Wrexham player for officially four games, and he scored one goal in that time. So, it was nice to know you, Morgan Gibbs-White, but apart from that, that's the only major in to come in. And we also touched upon the fact that we'd solved our goalkeeping situation, and his name is Ruben Soto. So, if you looked at the transfer special, this has been arranged all summer. We've been waiting for him to turn 18 before we could bring him in. So, we scouted him, and he's a three and a half star current ability goalkeeper, five star potential, He's going to be our goalkeeper going forward. So Walton, after messing up in the last episode, he's the backup. He's on the bench, which ironically now, he's happy to stay at the club. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? As soon as the new goalie comes in, he, he he's happy. So too late, Walton. Too late. So this is going to be the game we're going to welcome Predo back to the club. We've got Soap doing goal. Bello, Lawrence, Edmondson and Bogle at the back. Young and White in the midfield. Malakar, Soares and Lahadji. And we've got Jarvis leading the line. Bednarek, the only major injury. He's out for two weeks. 
But we're going to go attacking because we are at home. We are at the race course stadium. So we have a chance to maybe have a bit of a cup set here and get the win over Newcastle, the team that we sold our wonder kid to. He's not even in the team. All that build up, he's not even in the team. They rested him. Great. Oh, but they do have Jamal Baptiste, though. I was very high. I went very, very high there. We do have a former player, Jamal Baptiste. They must be the same player. So we'll tell them they've been on a good run of form. So we do have former centre-back, Jamal Baptiste. We had him on loan from West Ham. He then went to the MLS. He's back at the race school stadium. So we do have the return of a former player. But it's not the former player we were all expecting. Also, the game's just frozen. I don't know if this is a new thing. Oh, no, there we go. It's, it's come back to life again. I think it's come back to life. Yep, yeah, there we are. The game's underway. After a bit, little bit of technical difficulty. Starting things off, first highlight of the game. Klaassen pumps it upfield. Edmondson, though, mopping it up. And Malakar on the left-hand side. Good tackle by De Silva. Malakar jumps over it. Malakar keeps on going. Plays it into Lahaji. Plays it to Jarvis. And Giza Jarvis makes it 1-0. 14th goal of the season for him. He's on fire. Giza Jarvis. His second season at the club. We brought him from Cardiff when they got relegated. And he is on a very rich vein of form. Jarvis slots it in. And Championship Wrexham are beating... Premier League Newcastle. Come up to half time, a very boring game. <laughs> Nothing much has happened, barring the goal that we have scored. Although the game sort of hews my calls and thinks, oh, we'll throw a last minute highlight into the mix. As Newcastle give the ball to Jamie Lawrence. Young gets it to White. Lovely ball in the box for Malakar, takes it down, but it's a poor shot. That will be the half time whistle. And Wrexham 1-0 up. And looking at the XG, we are very much value for our lead. So I'm going to tell her we're happy with the performance so far. Let's keep this going. And we might be able to get into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. Wrexham starting things off with a throw. Soars. Plays it back to Bello. See if we can try and get somebody in the midfield. There's a lot of overlap. There's a lot of players... On the right-hand side, they can make a difference, but we just give the ball straight back to them. But they very kindly give it back. So thank you very much, Newcastle. Edmondson goes route one. Jarvis in the box, takes it down, makes it two. And all that build up, the back and forth between us and Newcastle was all worth it. As Giza Jarvis gets his second goal of this game. He's unstoppable. At this moment in time, he is unstoppable. Something's falling down on my desk. It doesn't matter, though. We've scored two goals. That can wait. 2-0 up. De Silva on the ball, but Young dispossesses. Gets it to Jarvis. Jarvis on for a hat-trick in this game as Lahanji pumps it out to Malakar. One wing to the other. Oh, that's a shove in a box, but Malakar shrugs it off. Young gets it to Soares. It's oh, cleared from the defence. And that was a big chance for Wrexham. As we get another throw, it is all Wrexham in this game. As with a long ball to Jarvis, not going to get anywhere. And I know it's the Carabao Cup, I know that. I understand it's not Newcastle's first string team. They are leading out Predo after all. But the fact that we are 2-0 up and dominating Newcastle goes to show that we can, you know, compete with the big guns in the Premier League and... The way the championship season's going, we could be facing them next season. Corner for Newcastle, just about to make a sub. But we'll wait and see how this highlight plays out. Souls is two on two. Jarvis is there. Good ball to him. Jarvis has got to beat the man. He does. Gets in the box. It's 3-0. And Giza Jarvis scores a hat-trick. This is the type of form he's been in. Get him in front of goal. He will score. And Giza Jarvis did really well here. Takes the ball down. He's one-on-one -on -one with the defender. He does him. Shoots the top corner. 3-0 Wrexham. And now I am going to make the changes in this game. I think we might even bring Giza Jarvis off, you know, because I want to try and save him for the championship. So we'll move Malakar up front. 
we will bring Adrissi off the bench. It's his first appearance of the season. I do want to bring Huriez on as well. So I might bring him on for Lahadji. Give him a little bit of a rest. So two changes with 3 nil up. We're into the quarterfinals pretty much. 80th minute, a few tire players out there. I do want to uh, change somebody in the midfield. So I think we'll bring on Callum Barlow for Ben Young. So Callum Barlow, he comes off the bench. Last substitution, 10 minutes to go. Carmo to De Silva. Newcastle, again, like I mentioned, playing for pride. They're 3-0 down. They've probably had more chances in the last sort of 10 minutes than they've had all game. From the goal kick, Edmondson to Soto. First chance we get to see our new goalkeeper in action. Very quiet game from him, but that's how we want it. We don't want our goalkeeper to be busy. We'll try and avoid the balls going to him in the first place. But we pump it up field, Malakar. Dispossessed. And like I say, Newcastle have played better in the last five minutes than they have all game, as it's a good block from Bogle at right back. McAdams does get a goal. It's been coming, let's be honest. Newcastle do deserve a goal. It is too little too late, but they have played better the last 10 minutes than they have all game. Bogle does block, but the problem was that they got the ball back into the box. They shot again. 3-1 the score. Merely a consolation at this point. Full-time approaching. Wrexham are going to get this win today. A very good win in front of our home fans. And it's a 3-1 victory over Premier League Newcastle. We didn't get to see Predo. We didn't get to see Jamal Baptiste either, to be honest. So the whole reuniting with our players thing didn't really work out. But we do get the win. 3-1 win in the fourth round. Giza Jarvis, three goals from him. You were superb in front of goal. Deadpool, he's happy as well. And we will go into the hat for the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We're going to London, guys. We're going to face Spurs in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. We're probably going to get stuffed by them, but we'll certainly show that game off as it's probably one of the biggest games Wrexham have played in their recent history so we will be playing the championship game today against hull city so let's remind ourselves of where we are top of the league hull are in 19th place we got all the best players in our squad let's try and see if we can extend our unbeaten run a few changes to the side that beat newcastle soto keeps his place carbonic lawrence dickey and emmanuel at the back relish and barlow in the middle Malakar, Soares, Lahadji and Jarvis all keep their places in the side because hopefully we can try and bring that goal scoring touch to our game against Hull as well. So we'll go to the match. Can we keep that unbeaten run going? Because we are in a title challenge the way things are going at the moment. That was the goal. Automatic promotion. We got stung in the playoffs last year. So we were trying to avoid all that happening again. So Wrexham against Hull at the race course in the championship. Can we extend our lead at the top of the table? First chance of the game. I've shouted to encourage the team. That seems to be the new get creative of football manager. But the header on. Rice has worked his way in the box. They've gone route one. First chance for Hull. Throw in for Wrexham. Josh Emanuel to Soares. 1-2. Callum Barlow picking things up in the midfield. Switches flanks. Malakar in the box. He's got plays to pick from. Gives it back to Carbonek. Takes a shot. Carbonek gets the goal. 1 0 to Wrexham. First goal for him. He is a midfielder, but he has to play left back as well. Because we've only really got Bello and himself that can play left back. But I don't care how they go in or how, who scores the goals as long as we get them. As Carbonek makes it 1 0 to Wrexham. Starting things off with another throw in. We scored from the last throw in. Can we score another one? As Soares puts it in the box, headed away. Callum Barlow, good ball back out to the goal scorer, Carbonek. I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce his name, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So his new name is Carbonek. But Soares did go close, and it was a good save from the goalkeeper. 
Coming up to half time, it's been all Wrexham looking at the stats. 15 shots, 9 on target, compared to Hull's mealy, meekly, 2 shots. So we've got a 1-0 lead, but I would like to make this maybe a 2 or a 3 goal lead, just to make sure that the points do come into Wrexham's hands. So we'll pump the fists, tell them there's more to come, as we hopefully try and build on this lead. Martin Relish has picked up an injury. What's wrong with you? Groin injury. Oh, that's not good news. Groin injury. Not good news. We've got Ben Young or Harvey White. I think I'll bring Harvey White on because Ben Young's a little bit more injury prone at the moment. So White can come on like for like in the midfield. Hopefully it's not a serious one. Hull starting from the throw. A lot of highlights starting from throws I've noticed today. But then I guess that's just football manager 21 anyway. Jarvis in the box. Puts it wide. Still only 1-0. 70 minutes. Malakar's looking tired on the left-hand side. So we're going to move Jarvis out to the left. Or we'll bring off Huriez off the bench to play up front. Lahadji's on 6.4. But I've only got one more sub to make. So we'll kind of see how things play out before we make our third sub. Starting from another throw. It is throw-in central. Today, in Deadpool Diaries, every highlight starting from a throw-in as Lawrence gives it to Carbonek. Jarvis moving out onto the left-hand side, gives the ball away. I'm worried that Hull are going to spring us on the counter and get an equaliser. They don't deserve it, but that's what I'm worried about. Bates puts it in, Lawrence heads it away. The second-best average rating in the league is our new centre-back, Jamie Lawrence. As Dickey intercepts, gives the ball to Clark. I smell a goal! I smell a goal! Trevor Clark! Of course, Hull get an equaliser. It, I hate being right. It's hard work being right and knowing when a goal is going to be scored. They don't even deserve it. Dickey gives the ball cheaply. Clark's got so much room. Smashes it in the goal. They won one. And this is what I was worried about. I mean, look at these stats. 19 shots, 9 on target. 4 shots, 1 on target. They score. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Whenever we play teams on Football Manager, the opposition are more clinical than we are. Right. We've got one more sub to make. I think it might be probably Lahadji, to be honest. We'll bring on Ben Young for you. Is there a lefty in the squad? I think Huriez, you're a lefty. We'll move Jarvis on to the right. We're doing a bit of bit of manoeuvring here. Young, you don't know how to play left wing. But you might have to. You might have to. No, we don't. We can bring a Drissy on instead. So we'll move a Drissy on to the left hand side. No, I, that's not what I want to do. I've done something right. Undo that. We'll bring Adrissi on for Young. That's right. There we go. So we'll move Adrissi on to the left-hand side instead. We'll make him an inverted winger on attack. Just to try and see if we can get the ball going here. We're going to go on to attacking. So we're tweaking the tactic a little bit to try and find a winning goal. Starting from the throw. Been saying that all afternoon. Callum Barlow takes a shot. Saved by the keeper. Coming up to full time, it's going to be 1-1. One, one. It's like the Leeds game. We deserve the win. We deserve the win. We've had 23 shots, 11 on target. Hull have had two shots on target, and it's 1-1. One, one. It frustrates me because we deserve the win. Point the finger. Not good enough. We, we needed that second goal. We needed that second goal. It didn't come. And we've dropped points. But Bournemouth, how did they get on? They lost. Oh, we, could, we could have pulled like 10 points clear at the top. Relish is out for three to four weeks. That's disappointing. But as far as what that looks like for the championship table, we have pulled another point away from Bournemouth, who are our closest challengers at the moment. We are eight points clear of them. So it is still good. We are still where we need to be. But... That was two points dropped as opposed to one point gained. 
and we haven't dropped points in a while. We'll come back for, well, there we go. There's the two games. We'll come back for Spurs in the Carabao Cup and our closest challengers, Bournemouth, in the league. So two big games coming up in the next episode. Fingers crossed we will still have that cushion to Bournemouth. But if we do beat them, automatic promotion looks to be in the bag before the new year even comes in. Who knows? But leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for Football Manager 2021 content. We will be uploading Deadpool Diaries every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. GMT. Tune in next time for a Carabao Cup quarterfinal against Spurs, followed by first versus second as Wrexham take on Bournemouth. Thank you very much for watching.